It's been a while since I've updated you guys, so this is going to be a pretty substantial update video. The first thing I'm going to talk about is my weapon data table system. I've integrated data tables into my weapon system so that even someone who doesn't understand how I program my combat system can work with it. So here's how you create a new weapon. Create a child blueprint class of the parent. Okay, and after that, let's go to the weapon data table and create the weapon here. You can either use a weapon mesh or a skeletal mesh. This one is a skeletal mesh. And we can choose if we want this um, to have common or weapon specific animations. Basically common just uses base common uh, animations for every single sword in the game and weapon specific uses the animation that's set up here in the data table. And here you can set your equip and unequip animation. So I'm not going to set any animations in this right now. Where the weapon state is common, there is no need to add any animations. It's just going to use the common animations for every light-handed weapon in the game. Next, the equip socket and unequip socket needs to be added. You can define your damage. Additional damage can be equipped. Also, the combat state that you want this weapon to be. This is a light sword. Go back into the weapon blueprints folder. Open up Glimmer Sword, set the data table row name to the Glimmer Sword that we created in our data table. Now just need to select Glimmer Sword here on the pickup actor. And now the sword should be added to the game. And here's our new sword. Already has an animation set up. But we can also add weapon specific animations. Let me show you how to do that. So here in the weapon data table, we can add some weapon specific animations. We'll add three animations for this example. Okay, and now to get it to play these animations over the common animations, all you have to do is in weapon state, select weapon specific. Now it should play the new animations. So now you can have multiple different weapons with multiple different weapon animations. So I have three different pickup actors in here, all three different weapon types. This is a light sword with special attack animations. This is a light sword with common attack animations. And this is a heavy sword with heavy attack animations. And if you decide that you want the Glimmer Sword to have common animations, then all I have to do is go in and select common. And now, the Glimmer Sword should use common animations. It's also easy to change between weapon types as well. Say for whatever reason I wanted this small sword to be a heavy sword. All I have to do is go down to the enum state, select heavy sword. Now it should play the two-handed sword animations. So you can do that when you want to swap the weapon out for a two-handed weapon, like this.
Alright guys, that's all I have for this update video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.